continuing with the unit number 4 that is introduction to business intelligence so in today's lecture we are again introducing the what is business intelligence with a different perspective so that you will understand what is the significance of business intelligence in in the industry because all we all the students are from different branches like mechanical electrical electronics automobile aeronautical engineering and all uh, students will have their own industries and you need to understand what is the importance of business intelligence in that respective industries so in today's lecture i am going to highlight some of the respect to business intelligence which will help you to understand the importance of business intelligence in your respective domain industries so first we are starting with the definition of business intelligence there are various definitions of business intelligence that we are going to see then we are going to understand what is business intelligence software and uh, what are the, what is the task of that and how it is used that we are going to learn next is how business intelligence used in a particular organization then we are going to learn what are the organizational benefits of implementing business intelligence so once you implement business intelligence in your respective domain area then what are the benefits of it that we are going to learn then next is very important how do i know when to use business intelligence for my business as we all are from different domain areas we have different industries we need to understand at particular at what point of time we need to use business intelligence in our respective domain areas industries then what kind what, what kind of businesses use business intelligence that we are going to see then it is just for your information and you should aware about this what the difference between business intelligence and competitive intelligence and what's the difference between business intelligence and business analytics so we are starting with the definition of business intelligence so let's start with the wikipedia definition of the business intelligence so what is business intelligence bi is a set of theories keep in mind it is a set of theories it is set of methodologies it is set of processes it is set of architectures and it is set of technologies that are transforms raw data into meaningful and useful information for business purposes bi can handle large amount of information to help identify and develop new opportunities making use of new new opportunities and implementing an effective strategy can provide a competitive market advantage and long term stability it is called as business intelligence again i am repeating what is business intelligence it is a set of theories methodologies processes architectures and technologies with the help of this theories methodology processes architecture and technologies used to transform the raw data into meaningful and useful information for business purposes bi can handle large amount of information to identify and develop new opportunities making use of news of new opportunities and implementing an effective strategy can provide 
a competitive market advantage and long term stability to your investor. So this is the definition of business intelligence. There are other definitions also that we are going to see. So IBM researchers, Hans Peter, is credited with coining the term business intelligence in the 1958 article. He defines BI as the ability to apprehend the interrelationship of present facts in such a way that, in such a way as to judge, so sorry, such way as to guide action towards the desired goal. It is one of the definition mentioned in the 1958 article by Hans Peter. Next is Howard. In 1989, proposed business intelligence as umbrella term to describe concepts and methods to improve business decision making by using the fact-based support system. They have defined the business intelligence as umbrella. Inside this umbrella, the concepts, methods, technologies, all are used to improve the business decision making by using the fact based support system. This fact based support system will consist large amount of data and from that, da from that data the meaningful information is retrieved which will help us to take the, to take the business decision. Next is Fosters has defined business intelligence is a set of methodologies, processes, platforms, applications, architectures, and technologies transform raw data into meaningful and useful information to enable more effective strategic, tactical, and operational insight and decision making. So they have mentioned business intelligence as a set of method methodologies, processes, platforms, application, architectures that transform raw data into meaningful and useful information to enable more effective strategic, tactical, and operational insights and Next is way Ekerson use this. Uh, they, have, they have explained BI consists of two diagrammatically opposite. First is top down matrix driven reporting and dashboarding, where you know in advance what things you want to monitor and bottom up add up analysis to answer anticipated questions. So they have mentioned top down and bottom up and they have used they have, both the approaches are used to perform the analysis of the data based on the analysis. They can retrieve the meaningful information so as to take the correct decision. So next is base network. They have published an article by Larry English where 
they have emphasized that business intelligence requires information quality. So they have mentioned BI as the ability of an enterprise to act effectively through the exploitation of its human and information resources. So this is how they have mentioned about the BI. And this is the simplest meaning definition of the BI given by the Bill Cabiros. Getting the right information to the to the right people at the right time. This is they have defined the BI like this. Getting the right information to the right people at the right time. And this is very important at the management point of view to take the decision. Next is what is business intelligence software? So these are the software which consist the tools that make it possible to create value from big data. The business intelligence software consists lots of tools that makes it possible to create the value from big data. Some examples of business intelligence technologies include data warehouses, dashboards, ad hoc reporting, data discovery tools, and cloud data services. So they used various technologies like data warehouses, dashboards, ad hoc reporting, data discovery tools, and cloud data services. At the back end, they may use various technologies. So what is business intelligence tools? Business intelligence tools are crucial to effectively to effective measurement through the use of key performance indicators and metrics across all levels of an organization in all industries. So they have these tools are used by used with the help of key performance indicators and metrics across all levels of an organization in any industry to do the effective measurement. tools allow companies to see both historical and current data in context. So these tools will help to see the historical and current data which enable better decision making and predict development depending on your business objective. So there are various tools that are used by various softwares to do the retrieve the meaningful information from the huge amount of data which will help to take the better decision. Next is how is business intelligence used? How your business intelligence is used? Business intelligence has a positive impact on an organization people's as it does on performance, projects and decisions. The business intelligence will have a positive impact on people with performance, projects, and decisions. Business is to turn data into actionable information. This is very important. The business interiors is used to turn your data into actionable information for leadership, management, organization, and decision making. The following are some of the ways organizations are learning to use business intelligence. First is analyzing customer behavior. It, this will 
customer buying patterns and sell trends etc Measuring, tracking, measuring, tracking, and predicting sales and financial info, financial performance. So to understand or to know measuring, tracking, and predicting sales and financial performance, you can make use of business intelligence. Next is budgeting and financial planning and forecasting. To do the budgeting and financial planning and forecasting, you can make use of business intelligence. Next, tracking the performance of marketing campaigns. With the help of business intelligence, we can measure the performance of marketing campaigns. Next is optimizing processes and operational performance. With the help of business intelligence, it will improve delivery and supply chain effectiveness. Whatever you are having delivery and supply chain, it will improve the effectiveness of de delivery and supply chain. It is also used to do the web and e-commerce data analytics. It is also used for customer relationship management. To do the better relationship with the customer, you can make use of business intelligence. Next is risk analysis. With the help of huge amount of data, once you do the business analysis, you will get the meaningful data. Based on this, you can analyze the risk. Next is strategic value driver analysis. Whatever information you have retrieved, you will need to understand what are, what are the information which will include the strategic value which will help us to make the strategic planning. Next is once you or once you make use of business intelligence, what are the organizational benefits of implementing business intelligence. So first benefit is we answer to critical business questions. A particular critical business question appear, you can easily answer to that particular question. So within a fraction of minutes, you can answer the question once you implement the business intelligence. Next is Align activities with strategies. Align activities with strategies. Whatever planning you have done, as per the operation, operational information, all the activities you can align so that it will be carried out in a synchronized way. So this business intelligence will help you to align activities with your strategy. Next benefit is it will reduce the time spent on data entry and manipulation. Already, you know, once you implement the business intelligence, it will have software tools and everything will be manipulated, uh, will, will be done automatically. With, the, with this, it will reduce your time spent on data entry and manipulation. Next is, it will gain in-depth real-time insights into the customer. Every, every bit of data is present in front of you. With this, you will get the real-time insight into your customers. Next is benchmark data against competitors and historical data for continuous improvements. Benchmark data against the competitors you can understand where your company currently and where you can go with the help of benchmark and historical data for continuous so data is present with you historical as well as the real time so this historical data will help us to do the 
continuous improvement. Next, the benefit of business intelligence is to identify to identify and analyze areas to cut cost and for and for budget allocation. With the help of business intelligence, we can analyze and identify areas where we can cut the cost and for budget allocation. One of the benefit of this is it will boost your internal productivity by spending time on what's important. Everything is in front of you. You can easily get what is important for you. Concentrate on it. It will boost your productivity. Next is how do I know when to use business intelligence for my businesses? As you are working in any organization as an employee, when you will understand when to make use of business intelligence for your business. So all organizations, all organizations will benefit from business intelligence. But there are here are some clear indicators that you should look into a business intelligence technology for your business. So first indicator is need to integrate data from multiple business applications or data sources. If your business is going to access the data from multiple data sources, then keep in mind you need to use business intelligence. Once you gather the data, there must be a software which will help you to retrieve the meaningful information from your data. In that case, business intelligence came into the picture. Next indicator is lack of visibility into company's operations, events, news, finance and other periods. If you don't have clear visibility to company operations, events, news, finance and other areas, in that case, you can go for business intelligence. Once you go for business intelligence, all these operations, events, news, finances and other areas will come into the picture and at what at a particular point you will understand or you can link all these things into a inline fashion to your strategy to improve your business. Next is the need to access relevant business data quickly and efficiently. In your business, you need this is the requirement. Quickly data ret retrieval and efficiently. In that case, we can make use of business intelligence. Next is increasing volume of user requiring users requiring and accessing information and more end users requiring analytical capabilities. So in that case also, this is the clear indication wherein you need to go for business intelligence. You are you, you will like increasing volume of your users requiring and accessing information and more end users requiring analytical capabilities. Next is rapid growth company growth or recent or pending merger acquisition. So in this case also, you need to go for the business intelligence. Suppose you are having new products and you need to introduce this product to the into the market. In that case also, you need to go for business intelligence. Upgrades within the IT environment. In that case also, you go for the business intelligence. So these are the clear indications. If you come across that these indicators, you need to go for business and intelligence. So as a manager, you need to understand when you need to go for the business intelligence. So all these are the clear indicators to go for the business intelligence.
business intelligence is meant to empower your people keep in mind as a manager you need to empower your people and this is one of the tool which will help you to empower your people companies have found that allowing people to access and track analytical and operational data it improves work efficiency and goal reaching by monitoring real time effort alongside the business plan once a employee of the company will get the correct data in front of that employee they can work efficiently and achieve the goals by monitoring real time efforts along with the business plan the power of bi improves your teams the opponents to to tell their data to data stories working faster smarter and embracing a more open and transparent workspace so these are the some of the advantages of business intelligence so all these things that take taking it to the next level of your business next is what kind of businesses use business intelligence or in which business you can make use of business intelligence simple answer to this is all kind of companies all kind of companies in every company you can make use of business intelligence so all kind of companies use bi and bi is helpful for businesses of all sizes and industries from big to small and from food to software and it's global business can benefit internally as well as externally once you make use of bi it will benefit internally as well as externally in terms of customer satisfaction with business intelligence bi enables improved internal communication through simplified co collaboration and sharing so that business objectives and performance properly align next is what is the difference between business intelligence and competitive intelligence it is for just sake of information you need to aware about these terms and there are many more terms in the industry so there are number of, number of ways to discrepancies between business intelligence and competitive intelligence competitive intelligence is defined as the process of gathering and analyzing intelligence about a business external environment such as market landscape for particular industry or business competitors again i am repeating this competitive intelligence is the process of gathering analyzing intelligence about the business external environment it will more focus on the external environment whereas this business intelligence is understood as internal business insights what your company is doing this competitive intelligence will more focus on external environments whereas this business intelligence is more focus on the internal business insights so this is the difference between bi and ci next is what is the difference between bi and business analytics 
what is the difference between business intelligence and business analytics there are number of perspective in discussion of different difference between business ba and B, ba the first understanding is that ba and ba are basically same arguing that ba is the heart of b ba is the heart of ba excluding the actual process of decision and focusing on the step towards the decision making other say business analytics like business intelligence collect and analyze data utilizing predictive analytics and generates visual overview reports to help address the best areas for business improvement opportunities and strengths this per perspective states that the key difference is that business analytics solutions uses predictive analysis to solve problems before they occur while bi enable organizations to track real time to identify current problems and opportunities so this is the little bit difference between ba and b ba will will use as predictive analysis to solve the problem before they occur whereas ba uses real time data to identify current problems and opportunities bi solution may be more optimal for organizations that are satisfied with their business model and primarily want to improve operations increase efficiency and meet organization goals to make the good change next is what is pervasive bi it is a term that is getting lot of attention these days but what is pervasive bi and why it is important the term pervasive bi refers to organizations that have included the majority of their employees in the business intelligence solution if suppose you are having thousands of employees and all employees are included in your in your bi then it is called as pervasive bi almost all part will be present in the business process then it is called as pervasive bi this can take a variety of form such as including middle management in the information of realistic and useful activities or providing info, uh, employees with access to performance dashboards the goal of pervasive bi is not to simply provide access to raw data but to include your employees in the formation and attainment of business objectives so these are the